ab training. I did this whole video on core exercise and why I think crunches aren't a complete waste of time, but I don't think they're optimal for core strength. At the end of the day, you're just not giving your body your core the work that I think it needs by having no weight and doing endless crunches. I think that's a colossal waste of my time, especially when overhead press, squat, deadlift, and other things that I do. Now, we're gonna get into the cool things. I'm gonna show you a whole different video. We're gonna do goblet squats and wall deadlifts to totally strengthen and even rehab your back. But today we're gonna work on core. How do I build nice, pretty, beautiful, sexy, delicious, and tasty abs? Which is kind of a redundant thing to say, but we don't care here. We redundant the hell out of this video. First thing I'm gonna show you is a core stability row. Now, the key to this is posture and tightness and form. We want everything to be tight because the core is all about being tight, all right? So here's what we're gonna do. You want something about waist high. You're gonna grab onto it with this hand, okay? So left hand, you're going to the right side. Put this toe straight, straight on. Lift this, contract your glutes. Come down into a row form, pull up. Nice and tight, everything's tight. Your core, your glute, three. See, nice and controlled, go light. See, it's all about the straightness and the tightness. So you got 10 on one side. I'm gonna just do the other side. See how everything's fluid. But you'll feel this. Your glute, your obliques, your abs, everywhere. Balance, core. It's the first exercise. Three sets. 10 reps. This is by far my favorite abdominal and core exercise, period. Because everything it involves, it's also great at the end of a shoulder workout to burn out your shoulders while getting your core into play. Now I'm gonna call this a core twist and press. I don't know what the technical term is, but it's my video, so we're gonna call it that. Get on one knee. I'm gonna use a 45 pound plate. If you're a, a smaller person, a female, you can use a five or a 10 pounder. I'm a mid-sized guy, 25 pounds, you have 35s, you get the point. So you're gonna grab it by the side. Come down, reach down, up, press. Press, core, tightness, three. Five. Remember, the breathing is key. I don't want you passing out from holding your breath. So after that, You've ready, you feel it all firing in here. Okay, come in here. My shoulders are on fire for this. Three sets, 10 reps each side. Boom. The last part of this is a six week block that we're gonna switch it up is going to be the plank. Old school, there's a rule of thumb in the strength training community. If you cannot hold a plank for one minute, you have no business doing squats. Your core is not ready for squats. So if you're experiencing back pain, and you're thinking of starting a heavy squat routine like rip toe or small arm or something like that, make sure that your plank is on point. I'm not gonna do the full minute, but for this, we're just doing one set, one, for one minute. So set the timer on your iPhone and let's go. I'm gonna give you as much as I want here. So basically tighten your glutes, tighten your core, tighten everything, and just hold it like this. Tighten it like it's going out of style. Tighten it like you're trying to hold in some bad Mexican food. Tighten those abs, tighten the glutes, make sure everything's on point. By the end of this minute, you should be shaking. Again, be sure to breathe controlled. Again, you see how everything's tight. My biceps, my abs, my glutes, you're holding it. So you do that for one minute. Now, let's go over what we just did. We did three sets of 10 each side of core rows, okay? And then we did three sets of 10 each side of twist and press. And we finished with one minute plank. You do not need crunches. You combine sound, hardcore, core-based lifting, such as overhead press, 
variations of squats, deadlifts. With this, you're gonna build better abs than anyone you know who does endless crunches. And you know what, you're gonna enjoy doing it and you're gonna make your back and your core that much healthier. Guys, I hope you enjoy this. Try this out, comment below how you like it after you tried it. And of course, check out the full super feature coming soon to tigerfitness.com's content side. I'm Mark Lobiner, tigerfitness.com. Because building the best abs in the world without doing a single crunch, that's not a game.